What's up, Coastal Con? Just doing a quick live video, see if anybody pops in. If they don't, no big deal. You can watch this one later. But just check the mailbox and bam! I have a package here. And I was trying to figure out where the heck it was from. And I figured it out. But I wanted to share it with you guys. So, take my handy dandy knife here. And waste no time. Or maybe waste some time. And open this up. I think I know what it is. I say I know what it is. What's up, Jim? But let's see if I can actually, if I was right about what it is. Let's see. You guys know I like the independent games. That is what this is. So, first thing I have in here is this sweet little dice bag. That may be a clue. That may be a clue. Hang on. Yeah, where is it? And it's over on the table. Oh. Do I have to help? Oh. What's up, AJ? Jamie, what's happening? Oh, no. All right, well, that didn't quite work out. I dropped a whole bunch of dice. There we go. Hopefully we got those. All right, and then we've got some Star Breach dice you were wrong oh <laughs> star breach yeah i thought it was my relic blade too some star breach dice a whole bunch of them i just got all the sets here because why only have one set when you can have more so these are order dice for the game right here i'll kind of talk about that after i get a chance to read through the book but here's the big one right here bam Star Breach, the multiverse sci-fi tabletop skirmish game. Yes. So what this is, is this is written by Elijah Kellogg right here. You can check out the Facebook group. It's a Star Breach Facebook group. So basically what he did is he took the whole multiverse of all of the sci-fi games. And this rule set is actually free to download. This was just, he did a, um, it was a crowdfund some kind of crowdfund pre-order thing he did on the website. So it was, it was very different. It was something I hadn't seen before. Um, and so that you could get the hardcover book. Well, I don't like digital copies, so I went in for the book. And, of course, you can use any six-sided dice for the order dice. Um, but these obviously make it just a little bit easier. So I'm going to flip through here real quick. I'm going to go camera down and just kind of flip through the book real quick. I haven't read the rule book or anything. I'll do a review on it after I do that and see about getting some games in because I got a ton of sci-fi miniatures and always looking for good sci-fi skirmish game. But if you go to the, the group, what you'll find in the group is guys are using everything. They're using their 40K armies. They're using Infinity models. They're using Warpath models, War Machine models, Star Wars models, just everything. So it is it is truly a miniatures agnostic game. No question about it. Truly miniatures agnostic. So let's go down to the desk and take a look at some of the artwork and stuff in the book. There's my computer and everything else that's going on on my desk. Obviously, I wasn't ready for this. Just came from the mailbox, but that's okay. Bryce, hello, sir. How are you? I did get something cool in the mail today, but not my models from Bryce yet, but I'm anxious for those too, and I'll show those off when they come. So forgive the glare on the shiny book, but let's take a look. Oh, look at there. It's even autographed. I like that. This is number 40 of 61. So let's see. Nice. Okay, so glossy pages. Really like that. Really like that a lot. It's um pretty good sized. Pretty good sized book. It is 124 pages, and that's with the quick reference sheet in the back. So it's knocking stuff all over the place here. So there's of course a welcome page. And then, build, I, now I can tell you right away what I like is opens up with building a war band. And I'm a big fan of that simply because I, even though you really want to get into the rules, be, knowing how to build the war band is kind of nice. Now, I'm betting that he has 
I'm betting that some of his pictures are some of the stuff from the Facebook group. At least I hope it is because there's a lot, some really, folks have done some really cool stuff in the book. Well, the nice artwork there. Very nice artwork there. I like that. And I actually have, I picked up Core Space from Battle Systems. So that should be, that has some really great models to incorporate into that into this game this guy reminded me kind of one of the of one of the core space models so um so the the what i do know about this game is you kind of have these groupings um let me see if i can find it some scenarios right there warbands here we go wow warband selectors so again it, it's very generic so you got the legion of mankind, your human space soldiers, terror legion soldiers, corrupted space soldiers. Hmm, I wonder who those could be. <laughs> Terrors of Abaddon, deep space demons, the hive, which is your space bugs, ancient machines, sentient robots, the coven empire, fanatical alien loyalists, uh, the Lorani empire, isolationist, super brain alien warriors. So you have all of these different factions to choose from, the ancient space warrior monks. A Padawan. Gee, I wonder what those are supposed to be. Any guesses from anybody? <laughs> right? Hey, Adam. Um, so it kind of covers the whole gamut, and I've really liked it. I haven't managed to finagle anybody into playing it with me yet, but give me time. I will. So uh, you can see some of the nice models. There's some really, really, really good pictures in the Facebook group. I, you should check it out. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't know a whole bunch about it, but I was very intrigued. So here we go. And then and then we begin to expand on each one of them. So here's the Terrors of Abaddon, weaponry that they can have. Uh, I think someone in the group has developed a card template, which for me, that's great. I love having a, a card template. There's the path. Hmm, a power saber. Gee, I wonder what that could be. <laughs> So, oh, here we go. Here's a roster sheet in the back. So there you go. There's your Warband roster sheet. It kind of reminds me of Frostgrave-ish, uh, the way the roster is. But again, it's a skirmish game, so what do you expect? Um, I, Again, I don't know a lot of the mechanics, but I was really excited about it. I've been following Star Breach for quite a while now. Um, and I was actually there. He had to change the name of it. And for the life of me, I can't remember what the name used to be. But he had to change the name of the game over to Star Breach, and like I said, the the rules are still free, so you can still download this. I think the I think the scenarios might be some of the extra stuff that are in here. Hey, Seth, what's up? Um, but this particular one is is what you can download. Uh, it, it's there you go. I mean, you can download it and you can play essentially anything you want. You can use. Fallout miniatures, Star Wars miniatures. You can use anything you want miniatures. It doesn't make any difference. It's one of those beautiful games that is miniatures agnostic. So I'm going to go camera up real quick here. A little voice crack there, just, just for good measure, I guess. I'm trying to make my 15-year-old feel better. I give occasional one of those. Yes, an excuse for you to paint sci-fi, Adam. I have some I can send to you even. <laughs> so... On the back, we have a tabletop skirmish game unlike any other. Star Breach is easy to learn, intuitive to play, but remains strategically satisfying and consistently intense. Any sci-fi universe is playable and can be represented with almost any 28 millimeter sci-fi soldier miniature from your collection. Now, I know that um, the creator of Frostgrave is potentially releasing Stargrave, which is the sci-fi version of it, which is great. And Frostgrave is a great game, but for me... I, I, I want to play a different system than what my fantasy one is, if that makes any sense. I don't want to be doing the same one. WD-40 on camera mount. Okay, will do. I will do that. Um, anyway, that's it. That's the whole thing right there. Check it out. I'll have some actual YouTube videos up later, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.